Uganda's most top prelate, Emmanuel Cardinal Wamala, is still going strong at the age of 87, unlike most of his contemporaries. The humility and kindness he exudes really kept me at ease throughout our conversation. Emmanuel Cardinal Wamala was born on the 15th of December 1926 in Bugere village, present-day Rakai district. He's the ninth born of ten children and was ordained priest in 1957 in Rome. Cardinal Wamala's devotion to the doctrines of Catholicism saw him rise through the ranks within 37 years. And I served as a, uh, an assistant priest, a parish priest, vicar general, and even served at Makerere as chaplain, and then became uh, Bishop of Kiyinda Mitiana in 1981. From, yeah, I served there seven ye years only, and I was uh, transferred to Kampala in 1988. In Kampala Archdiocese, the Cardinal first served as an auxiliary bishop to the late Emmanuel Cardinal Suvuga, the then Archbishop of the Archdiocese. He was made Archbishop of the Archdiocese on 8 February 1990, a position in which he served until 30th September 2006, when he resigned due to old age. When I was made Cardinal, I was still the Archbishop of Kampala. So I served as any other bishop leading a diocese and also um, coordinating, I would say, my fellow bishops because then I was the only archbishop. Since 1994, he has held the second highest position in the Catholic Church after the Pope. His title is referred to as the Prince of the Church in Catholic circles. He is the second cardinal in Uganda Hassad after Emmanuel Cardinal Subuga. While he served as archbishop, he was one of the cardinal electors who participated in the 2005 Popo Conclave that selected Pope Emeritus Benedict XVI. He, however, lost the right to participate in any future conclave after he turned 80. The senior cleric shared some of his memorable moments in his 58 years of religious service. As bishop, I've been happy and uh, I think I've enjoyed the love of uh, many Ugandans, Ugandans, if not all, and they have supported me in every way. One of his saddest moments was seeing his flock suffer. Work of a bishop shepherd of the flock. We uh, often challenge it by the prevailing situation in the country when you see your flock being tortured or devastated. Or for example, you, if you are a bishop or during the time of Oconi, you see your flock being uh, murdered by the rebels or whatever. In 1993, while he served as the Archbishop of Kampala Archdiocese, an assassin attempted to take his life. He recalls the incident very vividly. He had been offended by three people and they said he wanted to kill them. My question to him was, you know where the people are. You've got the weapon. Why not you going to kill them? And he said, no, I want the president to give me those people. So I said, if you want the president to give you those people, why are you, attacking, why are you asking me? What have I got to do with that? He said, yes, once the president hears that you are, you are under arrest, he must take action. Today, Cardinal Wamala calls the man who attempted to assassinate him a patriot. Because I asked him why, what is the cause of your problem? He said, because I see this country is badly managed. During his reign as a religious leader, he spoke out against injustice and immorality. Even in his retirement, Cardinal Wamala still advises church leaders on both temporal and spiritual matters. Gertrude Tumusime with Kwari, NTV. Hello.